Hey everybody, it's your radio pal, Wes Nesman. This is for Steph. I have five tips for you on being less dickish online. I'm the person to uh, definitely give you this advice. I am a, the King Kong of dicks. I'm not just the King Kong of dicks. I am the King Kong of dicks climbing the Empire State Building made of dicks. First off, number five, assume that whoever's page you're posting on has friended their grandma or somebody's kids. I can't tell you how many times I put something like, what a dildo on a post or something, and they said, careful, my grandma reads this. Number four, instead of trolling somebody's posts and saying something crappy underneath, what I do is that I screenshot their post, put it on my page, and say, look at how stupid this person is. Number three, be careful you don't put up half-written posts that worry people. This is a big drama thing on Facebook. I just don't know what to do anymore. I mean, you're just begging for attention. Number two, remember when you're writing a post that people cannot hear the tone of your voice or see the emotion in your face. Let somebody, you write a, somebody writes a post and you write, you suck underneath. Well, is that? You suck, you crazy kid, or you suck, you asshole. And number one, and this is the most controversial one, just smile when you get game requests. I too have bitched about game requests, but you know what? Your friend is over there on Facebook or some other app and they're having a good time. And you know what they thought of? They thought of you. They thought, I'm having a good time. Maybe this person wants to have a good time too. Don't act like you're so damn busy that you can't clean out all those game requests you are on Facebook to begin with, okay? That's five steps to being less dickish on Facebook. You guys be awesome to each other.